Welcome back to the channel at Javon Salah Products LLC. Hope all is well wherever you at. Before we continue, I want y'all to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and I want you to hit the share button. Right? So today, the topic is a very big topic, right? Especially right now with everything that's going on with COVID-19, you know, a lot of financial advisors, a lot of economists, a lot of bankers, you know, government officials, politics. This is a big discussion. It's a big debate, you know, different perspectives, point of view about this issue, about this topic, right? Has a very, you know... Uh, diverse, opinionated beliefs, right? And me personally, I don't think there's no right and wrong. It's just a matter of perspective. And also, you know, a person's philosophy as far as what they believe and what they trying to achieve economically, right? That's where I think it all stems from. That's just my personal belief. But however, the topic is, do you think that the United States of America will be better being on the gold standard or off the gold standard, right? I want everybody to comment below, right? You know, give your honest feedback, right? So others could benefit, so others could learn, right? Share the info, right? Because if we have knowledge, if we know things and we don't share it with other people, we actually lose the knowledge, right? You know, you keep the knowledge by sharing it, right? This is how real value is created, right? By sharing the knowledge, right? What's the sense of reading books and studying and going to seminars and conferences and stuff like that and being around, you know, people and exposing yourself to uh to knowledge that maybe others may not be exposed to and keeping that to yourself right i think that's you know selfish right so comment below and let everybody know what you think you know as far as what i believe and what i think right for those who've been following me y'all already know right i'm a business owner slash entrepreneur right you know, so I have a, a capitalist perspective about economics, about society, right? I believe in capitalism, right? It has proven throughout history, you know, to be successful. And I believe that America is where we at right now economically, you know, because of capitalism, right? However, you know... From my perspective, also, I believe that we are where we at right now because we have been taken off the gold standard, right? This is my philosophy, right? I do not believe that the gold standard will help America right now. That's just my belief. But like I said, there's no right or wrong, right? And I listen to everybody. Like, for example, I listen to Robert Kiyosaki. He has beliefs contrary to mine, right? I listen to Grant Cardone. I listen to Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett don't believe investing in gold, right? And, you know, there's a lot of different perspectives. Again, there's no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong. So this is not, you know, uh, uh, assault on anybody. It's just a matter of perspectives, you know, because I believe that through debates and different perspectives, I think this is how people minds open up, right? We don't we don't grow as a nation through agreeing on things, right? I believe that we grow through disagreeing, right? And for anybody that ever been to like, you know, some type of financial meetings where finance or uh, where finances is discussed, you will realize that a lot of conclusions came through debates and that has been even proven throughout history right you know because when when people with different perspectives debate it gives you more to consider and when you have more to consider this expands your brain right because 
to consider something that you don't know or that's contrary to what you know, this requires thinking, right? This requires thinking. And, you know, we was taken, President Nixon took us off the gold standard in 1971, right? And, you know, the greatest history, you know, of wealth being transferred took place from the gold standard, being off the gold standard in 1971, up until our time, right now, 2020, right? Now, I believe that for those who've seen uh, some of my previous video, right, I, I'm all, you know, this goes hand in hand with Keynesian economics, right? John Maynard Keynes, right? I believe in his philosophy about economics because you know, money, well, let me be precise, right? First, let me start off with monetary base, currency, right? Which is fiat money, what we have, right? Right, for example, right? Now, currency has only has value because of its use, right? Because of its use. And... I say that because, for example, gold, right? Gold has value. If we look at gold from an intrinsic point of view, gold has value. However, gold is not liquid, right? Gold is not liquid, you know, and gold cannot be used on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Although it has intrinsic value, right? I want to make that very clear. Gold has the intrinsic value of gold is, I mean, throughout history, gold has been proven to be the number one money base, right? I'm not disputing that. The only thing I'm saying is that gold, you can't use it like you can use money, right? It's, it's you know, if... If, if if you go up to somebody, the average person right now, you want to do trade and business, they would rather take the money versus the gold because the, 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 the uh, excuse me, the monetary based currency, right, which we refer to as money, right, the dollars, right, it's used. This is used throughout the economy, right? So being that we are off the gold standard, even though people have gold in their possession, is not being used. So even though it has an intrinsic value behind it, it's not being used, right? And with monetary-based money, right, you know, when you spend, you create income for other people. Right. It don't matter if you have millions, billions of dollars in monetary based money. If you don't spend it, it has no value. The value is in spending. Right now, as far as what you spend it on, that's a whole nother topic. I'm not getting to that. I'm not getting into that because that will be digressing from the topic. Right now. The value is in spending the money. Right, because if you have millions or billions of dollars and you don't spend it, it's gonna, it's gonna, I mean, it has, it really has no value, right? And the way that the system is set up here in America, you know, if it, you just leave it and sit there, if you leave it there long enough, it will lose all its value due to taxes and inflation and stuff like that, being that we off the gold standard. So, what I'm saying is that, you know, the value is in the use of the money, right? Now, if you have gold, even though it has an intrinsic value, right, it's just sitting there, right? You understand what I'm saying? It's just sitting there. All right, you have it, but it's not being used. It's just sitting there versus this would be a big argument like silver, right? Gold has more intrinsic value than silver, but silver is used more frequently then go. This is why Warren Buffett spent almost a billion dollars, right, on a silver bullion, right? Because silver is more used than gold, right? 
And of course, this is a big debate amongst amongst investors and stuff like that. You know, you know, um, um, you know, it's a matter of different perspectives, right? But like I said, it's no right or wrong. It's, it goes to a person's philosophy, I believe, and what they try and achieve, you know, financially in life, right? Now, the monetary based money, right? Being that it is used, right? When you spend it, this creates income for other people, right? So it's a chain cycle. So it's a chain cycle. And I give you a perfect example. Like a lot of the stimulus checks that went out, right? That Trump sent out. Even though some, some people may have still have this money in their possession, the money has no value. Why? Because it is not used. Why it is not being used? I mean, generally speaking, because a lot of businesses is shut down. A lot of stores are shutting down. A lot of malls are shutting down. So as a result of this, right, the money is not being used. So it's just sitting there. It has no value. But this is why I believe in the John May John Maynard Keynes, you know, Keynesian economics. Because in order to stimulate the economy, there has to be constant spending. There has to be constant spending. For example, if nobody buys life insurance, how would life insurance be in business? If nobody buys McDonald's, how would M McDonald's be in business? How would McDonald's be able, will be able to employ thousands and thousands of people? If nobody, you understand? So it's a chain effect. It's like, excuse me, it's like a domino effect. You know, when one business support the next business, or when once when one customer consumed from a business, is a chain. Is it's like is a domino effect. For everybody, everybody benefits from it. Whether we can understand that or not, that's the reality because that's how America grew to be the most richest country in the, being the most richest country in the world. Now, some economists may argue that we are not really rich because we are rich through deficit spending. But my argument is that if not for deficit spending, then we would not, the greatest history of wealth being transferred wouldn't be able to take place like it has been able to take place off the gold standard versus being on the gold standard. That's just my philosophy. That's what I believe, right? Now, a lot of people was, a lot of business owners, a lot of investors was, was able to create wealth because of being off the gold standard. They was able to get loans off the bank due to a signature, right? Right? Because that's really what it is, right? Money out of thin air, right? Du due to a signature, right? And credit loans and stuff like that. So when you sign your signature, the loan, the, the actual money kicks into the sick system once you start spending due to your signature, right? So... That's just my philosophy. I believe that we'll be better off. You know, I think that we should stay off the gold standard, right? Because another thing, here's another thing. Being on the gold standard, there's price control. And me, I'm an entrepreneur, right? I believe in capitalism. And if business owners and capitalists and investors cannot thrive in an economy, being off the gold standard, then there's no way possible that we can multiply and create wealth and stimulate the economy and create jobs and opportunities for employees, for, for people to become employed, right? And create a system, a financial system where everybody benefits from it, right? Then what will happen? What will be the case? Because the government is not the reason we have an economy. The reason we have an economy is because of entrepreneurs. So when entrepreneurs create businesses, we need more entrepreneurs. When entrepreneurs create more businesses, or when or if people when people become entrepreneurs and are willing to take risks and investors invest their money, this stimulates the economy because. When you provide products and service, you give people a reason to consume. And the more consumption there is, the more, the more wealth 
that there is being transferred. That's all I have for y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in at Jerron Salon Products. Again, don't forget, comment below. Let us know. Let me know. Let everybody know your views, your thoughts, right? And share, right? So everybody could benefit, right? I love y'all. Stay blessed. Jerron Salel Products, LLC.